I welcome you to the 99th weekly math challenge, the final two-digit weekly math challenge. That is astonishing. I thank you very much for all of your support and encouragement over the years. And uh, I am very excited to present you with this problem. But before I show you the problem, as always, let's go over a few points. First of all, if you're interested in proposing a problem, please email lessolvemathproblem7 at gmail.com. There will be one problem that will be posted every 7 to 31 days, and I highly encourage you to comment your answer along with an explanation below, keeping in mind that only unedited, non-reply comments will be accepted. Up to the first 10 people to correctly answer the problem will be recognized in the next video as shown. Congratulations, Marco Brezzi, for being the very first person to provide a correct solution to the 98th challenge. Let's recognize 8 more people. Congratulations, Quartin, Adam Depp, MST Mar. Congratulations, Shake It Piggy, Nicolas C, Mohit S N Razu. Congratulations, Viraj Agrawal, and last but certainly not least, Samuel Kim. A huge shout out to every single winner. And here is the 99th challenge proposed by Femath Ma6. For each positive integer n, let a sub n be the sum from k equals to 1 to n of n root of k minus n root of n. Evaluate the limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n. Before I go on, I remark that for this particular challenge, I will accept the solutions that are tailored more towards intuition than rigor. However, I will provide two additional assumptions that you may make that may be of assistance to those who wish to craft a more rigorous solution. It is quite possible that there are many other rigorous solutions that do not depend on these two assumptions, but you can use them nevertheless. First, you may assume that the sequence f sub n of x, defined by x over n times the summation from k equals 1 to n of x root of k over n minus 1, converges uniformly on the given interval from 1 to infinity, the second assumption is a theorem, and it is actually a special case of a theorem in Serge Lang's undergraduate analysis. And the theorem is, let f sub n of x be a real-valued function on the positive integer n's and real x greater than 1. Assume that the limit as n goes to infinity of f sub n of x exists uniformly for x in the interval 1 to infinity, and that the limit as x goes to infinity of f sub n of x exists for any fixed n. Then, the limit as n goes to infinity of limit as x goes to infinity of f sub n of x is equal to limit as x goes to infinity of limit as n goes to infinity of f sub n of x, which is also equal to limit as n goes to infinity of f sub n of n, which is going to be L for some real L. 